Not exactly what we have planned, huh, guys? So, where are you on Dale? Well, it's not safe to live there at this point, so uh, we're just going to have to adapt and make the best of it and figure it out. So we should probably explain what is going on here. We're obviously working on the loft and getting that finished. That's where the boys are going to be temporarily sleeping at until we get the backside of the house built on. So correct. the key thing here is this is temporary. Yes. Temporary. Yes. Tem temporary. Yes. As you guys know, this is actually the first front portion of the house. The back portion of the house is not built yet. It hasn't been started. It's going to be the entire bedroom wing. That's also going to be the area of access to get to this loft right here. Right now, we're going to put temporary stairs up with a ter temporary access right there for the boys to sleep up there while we build the second half of the house because we want to get out of the A go get into the A-frame and get out of the camper. Yes. So we need obviously a way for mm -hmm. them to get up here. Um, eventually that window that you guys see is will going be a door. To, yes, yes, to be a doorway that goes down to the stairs to the back side of the house. And this railing right here is just gonna be one solid piece of railing. So there will be no stairs there and um, none of the big, you know, like kind of clunky posts or whatever you call that you see there right now that's connecting the two yes. sides of the railing. Yeah, be an iron metal gate or whatever yes. it's gonna be called. Railing, railing. that goes all yes. the way across so that is i'm gonna say it again temporary yes and th <laughs> this has been tough figuring out how to make this work because we want we don't want to make changes to this portion of the house when we build on the back portion no. so we're trying to make everything work for us to be to be temporary but for its purpose to be long term yeah that's, that why, makes sense. Yeah, that's why we're not adding bedrooms and just making makeshift things for us to build up and tear down later right so so this is going to be the only thing in this portion of the house that ends up getting changed correct okay. yeah we'll pull it out and put a new one in and be done yes did we ramble no it's okay <laughs> we gotta explain ourselves sometimes the important thing is that this is temporary did i say that enough josh can you say it louder for the people in the back it's temporary <laughs>
It's been raining constantly. In one week, we will have lived in the RV for two years. We've been putting band-aid after band-aid on each issue in order to make it work. We had no idea that the next morning we would wake up to such a disaster. Not exactly what we have planned, huh, guys? So, where are we going down? Well, it's not safe to live there at this point, so uh, we're just going to have to adapt and make the best of it and figure it out. Yeah, the whole thing's a mess inside there, so there's no point in trying to fix it. It's going to be all right. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and get some beds. We're moving in. Come on, Are you excited? Yeah, I am. Are you excited, Ellie? Yes! I'm, I'm excited, Mommy! Even though it was really late when we got home and the house wasn't warm, the kids were thrilled. One of the things about these kids that never ceases to amaze me is how grateful they are for everything, big or small. This is an unfinished house with essentially nothing but air beds, yet they're happy. We have nothing in here, but at the same time, we have everything. yesterday woke up to a flooded floor um, we've been having a lot of problems with our camper we bought that thing it's like 20 years old and we, we bought it right <laughs> yeah. almost um, the thing just doesn't stop leaking uh, we're constantly on top of the roof packing stuff uh, the whole roof needs to be replaced when it rains water comes in a little bit comes through the walls it's just a complete and utter disaster yes um, now the, the latest thing is there's a leak at the pump um, and there's water coming from the floor now so we decided to uh, get out of there Right. Those things really aren't meant for full-time living, and it's been sitting out with with no shelter and with a family of five living in it. Two years now. Full time. So it's yeah. just it's taken a beating, and it's really just not meant for what we have put it through. <laughs> right. No. It was Poor beat, thing. It was beat when we bought it. Like when we bought it. They grabbed it from the bone yard. Yes, so. but we, we went there looking for the cheapest RV that we could find because we wanted to put the our money towards like you know yes. everything that we have going on out here and mm -hmm. not into that. So we knew that it was going to be a sacrifice and this just happens to be the way that everything turned out. But it hasn't only been that. Over the past you know week, our, our heater, our little buddy heater that we went had in there has just completely crapped Died. out on yeah. us. It's not super cold, so that wasn't a big deal. We were making do, but the hose, propane hose on the back of the RV also has a leak in it. So um, it's just kind of been one thing after another. And then when we woke up in the morning, it was just a disastrous situation. Yes. That's going to lead to mold. It's a matter of time. With the way it's warming up outside and cooling down, um, there's no way that we can dry the inside of that place out. So it's just not worth it. We have an option, which is this. The A-frame. So we ran out, we got a couple of air beds and just some something to get us through. And I think everybody's happier too. I know the kids came in, they're stoked. The baby's stoked, well, she's three, she's a toddler, she's stoked. I, Aaron, Aaron was nervous and uh, this morning, extremely happy. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel waking up in the morning, but, but waking up in the house, feels everywhere good. you look has just beautiful views and it feels like home. Yeah, when you wake up in the camper, I mean, if you've all been in the camper, I mean, the windows when you stand up are probably top windows are right here. Mm -hmm. So you got to bend down, look out the window. When you wake up in here, I mean, it's You can beautiful. see the views. You're not yeah. just kind of like looking down feels at good. grass. It feels like we've gotten some sort of normalcy mm -hmm. back that we haven't had for two years. And it also feels like we've actually like made it. Like this is what we've been trying to get to now. And we've come full circle. I, mean, I could have still lived in that camper. I mean, I, I could have made it. Not a big deal, but seeing seeing the excitement on the kid's face it made, it made, made it all worth it. Oh my god, yeah, definitely so. It's raining again. It has been raining every single day, which is making 
getting done what we need to get done really difficult. We're not using the table saw inside the house. So we're gonna switch gears and work on the railing for a little bit in hopes that the rain stops and we can get back outside to saw. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our things are done. Oh, the good times just begun. We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right Whoa! <laughs> yeah, you gonna hold it? Yes, I didn't realize it was gonna twist You and I, we got it Yeah, so I should have put the uh, the plug vertical so it go with the grain, whatever, it's timber, it doesn't really matter. Um, I pushed it in, it's hanging out just a hair, maybe a third second of an inch, we'll stain it down, restain it. We should be good. You and I can weather any storm Before I sleep Hear the crickets, see the moon Side by side and through and through no limit to what we can do. No, no, no. the camera's on. She's always stuffing her face off camera. So, how many Reese's Cups is that for you today, Aaron? How many got? My, you want one? <laughs> I do, actually. Do you want the knuckles or now? You want to do the knuckles, put them on? One, two, one, two, none, two, moose knuckle. <laughs> I don't know. Are you serious? Huh? Can I put that in? Yeah. I don't know, can we do one whole side with knuckles and one side without knuckles and then I can stand down there and decide? Nah. <laughs> and then we can take the side down that I don't like and nah. put it back up? Nah, it's not happening. Why? Cause. Cause why? It'll take me probably an extra hour and a half to two hours that I don't have time to do to do that. <laughs> How about if I throw a little Debbie in there for you, Josh? No, we're making a decision. We're putting knuckles on there, okay? <sighs> it's tight. Yeah. Don't, don't strip it now. Who are you named after? Obviously my uncle. Uncle Buck? <laughs> So we've been bouncing around project from project to project, right? Yeah. Railings, back wall, back wall, railings, the bedroom, you know, you get it. So. The bedroom? What bedroom? <laughs> you obviously didn't realize it there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> 
What he means to say is we're taking a break again from the railing because we have an area that needs to be filled in where the balusters can't go because mm -hmm. we would have to drill into the beams, which we don't want to do since this is not a permanent railing that's going to be there. So we came up with a solution. We think it's going to be the solution. We're not really sure how it's going to look yet, but it's utilizing something that we had in the barn from our very first home together. Our very first. No, it's our second home together. Yes, yeah, second home together. So... The, while the paint is drying on that, we are going to bounce back to cutting wood for the back wall in the loft because the sun finally came out. Yes. And so then it went away. Now it's cloudy again, but still it's not we're, raining. We're, we're going to cut, stain, and get it buttoned up and finished. Yes. The loft is all ready for flooring to be installed in about two days now, and then it's game on with getting everything deviced in the house and getting the bathroom knocked out so that we have a more suitable mm -hmm. living space since the RV is not in condition for us to be in there. Yeah, so the loft is done. As of right now, everything looks right except for the window. It is white. It's not black like every other window in the house. Um, when we put that window in, we knew it was going to come out eventually because that's going to be all temporary. So we didn't want to spend money on special order um, wooden black windows. We got a standard, like I think we got like 100 bucks yeah. at Lowe's on sale for um, final window. So that's installed. doesn't match, but it's coming out. Yes. And, um, and we also got the little black iron circle things yep. in there. We needed the something to fill that space in the corners just for safety reasons. Um, so that works for now. Yes. And that's it. Yeah. Do you like it? I do. I'm really excited about it. It actually turned out better than I was expecting. So Yeah, it was my idea to put the wood back there, go vertical. She said, let's stand it, so we stand it. Yes. Um, she was unsure the entire time. Mm -hmm. But once it got got done, looked at it, it pulls everything together mm -hmm. and also gives it like a little bit of an accent wall too. Yeah, it's I like, like it. a nice, cozy, masculine feel for the boys yes. area up there. So it, it turned out well. And that um wood on there is actually leftover wood flooring. Did you mention that? No, I did not. Yeah, so that was a neat way to use up some of what we had left over. Yep. So I guess that's it. And if you're wondering about the kitchen, the kitchen is on hold, uh, countertops, appliances and whatnot, not ready for that. It's not here yet. So uh, that's why we're switching gears and getting this place mm -hmm. suitable for living Yes. <laughs> as much as we can. So that's it, guys. All right, guys. Thanks. We'll see you next time. See ya. Get a pen to mark this area. <laughs> Guns. Okay. Right? But you know this is working together right now. We're actually working like a job. Guns. 
We're working together like a job. Right now, so if we so don't should... put your feelings to work. Oh. Your okay, good. Hey, Josh, real yes. quick. So should we, so you're saying that we should have proper behavior, like we're working on a job, is that right? <laughs> I know where you're going with this. Where am I going with this? You're maybe your sexual harassment, perhaps? <laughs> 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 you would have gotten fired long ago, buddy. <laughs> I got flats. Oh my I'm so sorry. What's wrong? I don't think Edna needs to sit there. Don't I hear the meat sweats? Then repeat what you said after that. I said that you know, you're a beautiful human being with meat sweats. <laughs> You are so weird. <laughs> when we let, when you and I work behind something, you just creep around the sides of the thing to be the creepiest eyes. It's so weird. <laughs> yeah, I can't help it, you know? <laughs>